I'm gonna go back a little bit on the process. First, we're gonna clean that couch really, really good with water and soap. Then we did a coat with the leather preparer deglazer. And then I did a coat of white, which I absolutely did not like the color at the end. So I figured, you know what, I'm just gonna go brown. So I took that white color as a primer. We then did the second coat. We then did the third and last coat, which I did add a little bit of orange into that paint so that it would have a little bit of a different tint of a brown. Before I added the last third coat of paint, I did sand the recliner just a little bit just to make sure everything was evened out. We then added the paint and I waited three days for that paint to dry out and then started adding the sealant. The thing with the sealant though is that it's not as thick as the paint. So just be careful if you're doing that. It could be a little bit messy and you don't really need that much. You let it dry out and we're good to go. There is no scratches. I, there it doesn't feel sticky it doesn't feel like it's going to crack I'm sure over time it's going to start wearing out but, but that 